In For Ragnarok, we learn that the Hulk is on the alien planet Sakaar and has been living there as the Grandmaster's champion in the gladiatorial ring for the last two years. But how did he get there in the first place? Thor and Loki were transported to Sakaar through Asgard's magical Bifrost that transports people between realms, so that makes sense how they got there. But the last we saw of the Hulk was him flying away in the Quinjet that we've never seen go off planet, and the Hulk certainly isn't smart enough to fly and or program a destination in the autopilot. And since Hulk's been in his Hulk form for the past two years, he couldn't have turned back into Banner and had him pilot it, as Banner has no idea they're even on Sakaar in the movie. So again, how did the Hulk get to Sakaar? Well, there are a lot of ways it could have happened, but the most likely to me would be that Tony Stark sent him there. You see, in the comic Planet Hulk, the comic that Thor Ragnarok was in par based on, four people decide to get rid of the Hulk. They are Doctor Strange, Black Bolt, Mr. Fantastic, and Tony Stark. Their plan is to get Hulk off the Earth because he's too dangerous when he's angry, so they're going to keep him off planet till they find a cure for him. After all, as he's always said, all he wants is to be left alone. And since in the film Avengers Age of Ultron, the Hulk is flying away in Tony Stark's custom designed Quinjet that he's programmed himself. Oh, uh, actually, he's the boss. I just pay for everything and design everything and make everyone look cooler. It seems likely that Tony Stark had a hand in him going off world. How exactly he does this is a bit of a mystery, but in the comics, the Quinjets could at one point create wormholes to travel to faraway places instantaneously. So it's possible that Tony Stark has invented new tech that creates wormholes for travel, and using this he's programmed the Quinjet to take the Hulk off planet. You may wonder why Tony Stark would do this, after all Stark and Banner are friends. But don't forget, earlier in the movie, Avengers Age of Ultron, Banner lost control and turned into the Hulk in a major city and started smashing it, and Tony Stark had to use the Hulkbuster armor to take him down. And even though Stark was eventually able to take the Hulk down, the Hulk still caused millions in property damage and probably wounded a lot of people and possibly killed some. And as we saw in Captain America Civil War, Tony Stark is having trouble dealing with the mistakes of his past and is trying to correct them, even if it means turning on his friends. I'm doing what has to be done to stave off something worse. You keep telling yourself that. So Tony had the motive and the drive to send the Hulk off world, as he may see him as a clear and present danger to the world. And with his genius intellect and money to build anything he wants, he has the means. Of course, this is just a theory, but it does make sense and it fits perfectly with the comic book that the film's based off of. But what do you think? Do you think it's likely that Tony Stark would kick Banner off planet Earth for the safety and well-being of others? Or do you think that the Hulk got to the planet Sakaar in some other way? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needlemass Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.